Hello everyone, welcome to Grand Adventure, a adventure retro horror adventure retro game. No, let's do that again. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Grand Adventure, a Newgrounds Flash game that's more like a retro horror adventure game that's classic of uh, Atari 60... Atari 64... <laughs> Atari console games. Let's get into it. Awesome beats! Press bar to bar to begin your journey. Slap wham! Load! Start the adventure. Alright. Apparently, character come out of my station. I can be male or female. Orc. Mm -hmm. Dwarf. Elf. Human and... Osolotl? Ah! Oh, a kitty man! Or female dwarf. Okay, let's go, let's go kitty person. That's... Kitty person. Let's begin. Your head hurts. And you have a strange sense of deja vu. There is a tree to the north. Something is hanging from it. I presume it to be a cage. I mean, it's gray. <laughs> Having fun yet? Not yet, not, not yet. How very pleasant. I can see where this game is going already. A little dash of horror, apparently. Flickering torches barely illuminate the dank halls. It does not look like anyone has been here for a while. Oh, it's very dank. Hmm. It looks important. I like these kind of... Cartoon cutscenes. A series of doors controlled by cranks. Looks like a puzzle. Looks familiar. Boop. Boop. I like this retro music. Ah! Uh... Oh! I'm good at puzzles. Look at this. I just activated my way all the way through already. All right. Huh? I'm gonna be probably like slamming the space bar because this uses space bar a lot. My space bar is loud. It seems stuck. Chick a little. Okay, rightfully so. What I just said, because I guess I'm be. Oh, there it goes. Because I'm gonna be hitting space bar a lot apparently. Hey, look! Okay, a nice white dragon, and blood on the wall. <laughs> Adventure this way. Now, that'd be a good screen cap for a thumbnail, I think. pretty cool. But looks like the dragon's dead. And it has a blanket over it. There seem to be the skeletal remain. Oh, there seem to be the skeletal remains of a dragon on the floor. And behind them, on a pedestal, is a magical sword. Alright, I, I... I don't... I don't think that dragon's dead. I mean, it looks menacing right there. I'll go against the wall. Oh god! Shit! Run! Run faster! I can't, I'm holding the right arrow button! The switch! Oh god. Man, I don't- my, my microphone was wiggling by how much I was slamming the space bar. Oh, poor dragon. It's dead, hopefully it will stay that way this time. Alright, hopefully that doesn't end up looking weird on my recording, because, I mean, I was slamming that space bar pretty damn hard. Sword? Picture of a wing for some reason. Wah! The blade is perfectly balanced. It reminds you of your last sword. I see you. Yeah. Aha! There is a red stone on a pedestal. It's waiting for you. Interesting. I like the music. I'll maybe listen to the soundtrack when I'm done with this. I like retro classic tunes like this. Anyway, so now we're a blob. A little square guy, just like the uh, 
What's the original game? It's like the original adventure game was just literally called Adventure, I think. I think. Or Quest. Going back will be simple now. Thank you! Swipe! Slash! Swish, swish. Alright, well we got a sword now. Uh, so sword was that way, shield up there, and an armor this way. I think we should get the shield next. You. Well, I guess I needed the sword first. Hack, hack. Eh. <laughs> Eternity. My mouse is in the way. Eh. Looks like he's been here for a while. No shit. It does say et Eternity. It's stuck on the webbing. Try, pull <laughs> try to pull it loose. Eh. 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 There we go. Interesting. Oh, I'm I'm jumping now. That is cool. Now it's in a uh, vertical game. A giant stone block is suspended from the stone roof by a thick rope. Seems impractical. Uh, will I die if I drop? Probably not. Yeah, because there's a ladder here for me to cut it. Boop. Alright. Whee! <laughs> Welcome, hero. Dozens of bones are webbed to the ceiling. Human bones! Mm. I don't like what's waiting for me. Apparently a spider. Eh. What is this? Fucking Kong? Donkey Kong? Oh? Oh? At the top of the tower, a shield glistens in the gloom. Oh, okay. No, uh, no, no evil spider? I saw its face. It seems like a deja vu kind of thing. Yeah! The shield is... Look out! Oh, okay. The shield drops to the depth below. Depths. <sighs> the, 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 the. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. Ew. I will cut your web, you disgusting sack of shit. Heh. <laughs> Spiders dozens, flesh will rot, poisonous bites. Ah! It's stuck in the web! Yeah. Oh god, I don't want to get eaten by those baby spiders, it's gross. Yeah. They're everywhere in the leg things in your skull, a seal god deal. Yeah. Itching, twitching, feasting, food for the babies. Ugh. <laughs> Man, a lot of button spamming in this game. But, it's still entertaining. Better than any other button mashers. Well, it doesn't seem to have damage, been, been, yeah, been damaged by the fall. Alright. The shield is well worn, but sturdy. It feels at home in your hand. Yeah, yeah. Stupid spider. Yeah, I just walk on its mouth. Gross. Alright, so I can block left and right if I hold the X button. It's just sort of on my back, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can climb on the rope. Wait, wait, whoa! That was a secret! Hold on there, I fucking went in the wall. Ah. There's a secret in every room. There is a green stone on the pedestal. It is not afraid. What's it trying to show me? Alright. That's two secrets out of... Three. Alright. Let's see. Alright, my fingers are on the right buttons. Had to reposition my left hand for a second there. Alright, now for the armor. Whoa! That was almost very unexpected. I needed... <sighs> nice. So I needed the shield for this. I'm going like in the exact... The jungle is thick. But there are no sounds of animals and the path is overgrown and undisturbed. Finding a secret here might be a pain in the ass, but... Space bar. <laughs> Under each tree. Hmm. Gotta check... I, I won't check until after, because I... <laughs> Lies a corpse. 
Well, that's a good message to learn. It's too dark to see much. Joy. I'm sure there's nothing in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, what is that in the middle? A castle? Whatever that was meant to be. Um, any other trees I can read from? No, no. Ooh, graveyards. Spectacular and a lantern. Rows and rows of graves. A shrine to the dead. Press X to pay your respects. X. Something's hungry in there. Uh oh. It's a goose! A goose! No, you don't. I blocked your fireball. Oh, almost got him. Yeah! Be sad. Ugh. Yeah, just fly right in my fireballs. Okay, do it again. Yeah, good job. Ugh. Man, you're a stupid ghost. Uh. Uh. Ding. It wasn't your time to die, at least not yet. Boop. This armor fits you perfectly. Oh, now I actually have health. I don't think that ghost was any kind of threat then. Unless it was like instant kill. Alright, I need to find the secret. Hang on. It has to be secret in here. There's no... Uh... Hmm. So I got armor, but there's nothing new to use. There's no... Hmm. Might be in the forest, I guess. Now, where could it be? I might skip forward until I find this secret, because I don't want to bore people, so... Be right back until I find that last secret, because I don't want to miss it, so... Be right back! Alright, I can't find the orb, I'm not sure if it's just a head and I'm missing it, or the orb is down here. So, I'm gonna go down here and hopefully not miss the orb. Here's hoping. Eh. It was a long fall, you cracked your head pretty good. <laughs> a terrifying beast from ages past, it reminds you of... I better not have missed that orb, I'd be upset. I'd even go far as to reset the entire game just to get to it. So hopefully the last orb is this way. A beautiful light pours out from the porculus. Two blood red statues stand as if on guard. She's waiting for you. Go to her. Oh, I don't have... No, I don't have them all. Alright. I don't have them all. I'm restarting! <laughs> I want to get all the orbs, because apparently that's where I need the orbs. So... Uh, I guess just bear it back one second. So, yep, yep, bear it back. All right, we're back. I think I found the secret. I was staring in this room for the longest time, and lo and behold, this grave, really, really freaking hard to see. I mean, I, it's like 30 minutes after my original uh, recording, and uh, this gravestone, it's, you know, it's like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, with the Kokoriko Village, I think it was called? There's a blue stone on the pedestal. It seems to quiver with anticipation. And there's the bloody... The girl by a bunch of gravestones? Oh, my eye. Yeah, so, now all the orbs are had. Finally. 
God, I was searching forever. Mostly I was just going through the forest, combing through everything, touching everything, rubbing my character against everything in hopes there was an invisible wall, but... All these areas, I like... The last other thing I tried to do was use the torch to uh, see if any of the trees would burn. I did a few times, like gave up with that since that would take forever. Anyways, I will leave it here, though, and go into that supposed boss room. Uh, yeah, I'll go into the boss room above in the next episode, since I'm around, I think, 15 minutes if I total this all up. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, because I certainly have. This is a pretty interesting and intriguing game. I like the, the elements that comes, like, the gameplay is... It's not just simply, I'm not sure how you'd put it, static or bland, it's it's creative. You can tell the creator of this really put effort into this, so if you like this, try it yourself. But beyond that, I'm going to continue and finish this, for sure. So, until the next time. Ah!